Hello students, this is asset paper for English for grade eight. And this is a pen and paper um, sample paper, which was for winter 2014. The time duration is 60 minutes for 60 questions. For the classroom practice, you will be doing a pen and paper practice, but originally you will be attempting a digital uh, question paper. So for that, the questions would be 50 in number and the duration would be about 45 to minutes to one hour. You need to work on speed and accuracy while you are in the, while, while you are practicing. Let us begin with this uh, question paper. As a practice, the asset paper should be read by the students themselves. There should be no accommodation. So I will not be reading the question paper for you, but kindly make a note that the passage and the number of questions for the passage are labeled right on the top. I will be pointing out as you are reading. Kindly begin reading. You may watch full screen, wide screen. If you are watching on a laptop, if you are using a mobile, kindly make sure that it is uh, landscape, not portrait. And um, if you are using a um, tab, kindly make sure that you have a wide view. You may pause the screen as you are reading. Proceed. Let us proceed to the questions. As you're working on the questions, you are requested to pause the screen and go back to the uh, passage, view it and come back and attempt the question. The question paper is for the first paragraph, go back to the first paragraph. Let us proceed. This is a poem. Questions 9 to question 40. Do not miss out the pictures also. For practice, if you need to look up for the meanings, you can Google search. For example, the word gurgling. Look at the pointers for question one, two, three, the blanks. Pause the video and read the question. Let us proceed. If you need to refer the poem, you can pause the video, go back to the time stamp, 
and click on the poem and read the poem for referring. The questions related to the passages, passage ends over here. The remaining questions on this page are language questions. Let us proceed. Pause the video and read. As a practice, if you are not sure, you can Google search the meaning. But it is advisable that you try to understand as per the context. Let us proceed. Questions 18 to 23. Pause the video and read carefully. Do not miss out the picture. Focus on the underlined information. Pause the video and read. Let us proceed. Do you want a little more clarity? The passage related questions end over here. The remaining questions are the word that is out of frame is continued. Question 24. Unperturbed. Focus on the question if it is asking for opposite, look for opposite. If you're not too sure for practice, you may Google search, but it is advisable that you interpret as per the context. Let us proceed. Questions 26 to 31. Read the passage carefully. on these words. The 
the questions asked are related to these vocabulary words. Now let us proceed. Read the question, go back to the passage. Now read the options. Read the question. Go back to the passage. Read the context. Return to the question. Select the option. Eliminate the incorrect answer, logically incorrect answer. Avoid the distractor in order to narrow down to the correct option. Let us proceed. Opposite is asked. Questions related to the passage ends over here. Pause the video. Write only the question number, option literal, and the correct answer. Let us proceed to the language based questions. Pause the video, read, eliminate the incorrect answers, narrow down your options to the correct answer. Pointing out to the punctuations, look at the first letter, capital letter. Look at this. Uh, colon, capital letter, comma, comma. Look at the um, small letter used. Look at the small letter used. Look at the full stop. These are the names of four newspapers, semicolon used. Capital letter, capital letter, capital letter, capital, 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 capital letter, capital letter, comma used, capital letter, capital letter, capital letter, full stop. Look at the commas used in between. Colon, capital letter for the names. Comma, capital letter, comma, capital letter, comma used, and capital letter, capital letter, capital letter, full stop. Look at this. Semicolon is used. Capital letter, here yeah, small letter is used. Small letter is used, small letter is used. As a tip, kindly make out those options where small letter is used or the lower case is used. You can eliminate those where even one small letter is used. For example, one over here, one over here. You are left with Two, where you have avoided the small letters. Now you are left with 
the punctuation that is whether the colon use of colon is right or the use of semicolon is right look at the commas are per perfectly exactly in the same manner the stop is also in the same manner so now your focus is on the semicolon and colon remember in a colon two independent clauses are used on either side semicolon and idea self related ideas tend to continue in the semicolon two correlated ideas are used try selecting the right option let us proceed vulnerable as per the context try interpreting while you're in practice you may search to come for the meaning it will be a learning experience but the best is that you should be able to assess as per the context Questions thirty six to forty one. Pause the video and read carefully. Focus on the underlined words in the passage, underlined over here. Underlined words. Now let us proceed to the question answers. Eliminate the incorrect answer. Narrow down your search. Let us proceed. Question is focused on true. The meaning is asked. Synonym is asked over here. The questions related to the passage ends at this point. Let us proceed. Questions are related to uh, 42 to 47, and it is a close. Close means a passage or a paragraph where blanks are to be filled with optional uh, options. Read carefully. Pause the video and read. Now let us proceed to the questions. Read the options. Go back to the passage. 
try placing the option one by one and see which is the best option as per the context, as per the meaning. Look at the choice change of articles. Look at the uh, preposition, how it fits well as per the context. Let us proceed. Look at the next question and the options. Read carefully. Go back, read the passage. Place the options one by one. Let's proceed. Read the question, read the options. Now go back to the passage and read. Look at the prepositions and look at the context. Let us proceed. Look at the words, look at the tenses. at the change in words. This last word is changing and the tense is changing. There are two things changing in question number 45. Try looking at that. Look at the context. Study the tense that is given in the remaining as a part of the passage or the paragraph. Identify the tense. And look at the last part where whether appropriate will fit in or appropriately will fit in. Let us proceed. So showing as participles. Infinitives, look at the change in preposition, go back to the context, use of non-finite verbs. If you're unsure how to use non-finite verbs, make a note of it. There is a separate video regarding non-finite verbs. Read the 47th question options. See the structure, whether it is Japanese football, fan long time, or do you use the long time earlier in the part of the sentence, or uh, look at the order of adjectives. If you do not know the order of adjectives, there's another video on the channel. Describe an owl. The thumbnail has an owl picture picture of an owl, finally practice that. The mnemonic is osuscom. Go back to the video and understand what is osuscom. Origin, size, etc. It is in a particular order when adjectives or multiple adjectives are used. With this, we have come to the end of only this passage. Let us proceed. This is a punctuation-based question. I'm enlarging it. Correctly punctuated. Capital letter. M-O-M apostrophe. Apostrophe missing, I do not see this anymore. Apostrophe is there, apostrophe is after. Moms, that means many mothers. You cannot have many mothers, so this is also eliminated. So you're left with two options, B and D. Continue reading. Two pets, two 
pet cells. So you have, when you have a single pet spraying area, you have a, a S apostrophe S, when it is true, that means plural apostrophe. This is how you narrow down when punctuation based questions are given to you. Look at the reporting. When you're using her for Aisha, look at her, her. Look at the tense, came. Had come. How to know whether which tense is right? Recall the table of tenses. There's another video regarding the ten, uh, table of tenses. The table switches over to if it is simple present, it becomes its corresponding past. If it is present perfect, it becomes past perfect. If it is Present perfect uh, perfect continuous, it becomes past perfect continuous. But if past tense is given, it jumps to and horizontally, that means it becomes um, past perfect. So coming back to where you have tenses. Had come. More than this, I'm not giving you a hint during the test. We painted the garage and we did the garden as well. What is the negative form of the given sentence? Negative means not is added. Not is added. A combination, neither nor, because two tasks are mentioned. Identify the situation and then select. Question number 52. Intervene. Let us proceed to question number 53. Question number 54. Let's proceed. Amir was to present his findings at the meeting the following day. And the question number is 55. Mm -hmm. 
Now look at this question. All the following sentences mean the same, except over here you need to select the odd one out. Opposites are used. Incorrect use of article. Punctuations. Which of the following sentence is a word with the pronunciation imitating the sound of an action? What is the meaning of this question? End of question paper. The answers to this question paper will be discussed in class first and then it will be posted by the students under the video. The correct answers will be pinned under the video. Thank you very much for your kind attention. And if you are, and the students are requested to like the video uh, so that this video gets added up in their liked videos and you need to revisit and attempt the questions after you have done your first attempt and discussion, maybe a week later for practice. And those who are new on the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you get the notification of my next video. Thank you very much for your kind attention.